Hi everybody, welcome to my RPG Maker XP Event Command Tutorial. Next on our list is Control Switch. This is used to turn switches on and off. Switches are used for uh, making things turn on, making events turn on or off. So, right here you can see my switch chest is going to be turned on by this switch. So, on action button, so talking to Bob, chest will be turned on. Now, right now, chest isn't doing anything. But over here in conditions, if we turn the condition for switch chest to be on, we'll find a chest to use. So, right now, this event is off. Switch chest needs to be turned on, and talking to Bob will turn the chest on. So, talk to him, and it turns it on. Makes the chest appear. So, that's what switches do. Now, control variable. Variables are the same as switches, but they use a variable amount. So, let's say... Hmm. Let's say talking to him will give me a variable called key. It will add a constant of 1, and for our chest, you need two keys to turn it on. Now you can have a sw two sw up to two switches, a variable, and a self-switch in order for this to be turned on. That can be used for uh, quests where you need more than one thing to turn an event on, but for now I'm just going to be using the variable. So a variable of one key. Let's make it three keys. So talking to Bob will give me one key for each time I talk to him. So I talk to him once, talk to him twice, talk to him three times. And there it is, it appears. I could turn this variable off by adding a new page and adding a self switch, turning A on, make A on, and I would need a new graphic for him. And his graphic is Right here. So that's what self switches do. New game. I talked to him once. So that gave me a variable of one key. But as many times as I press the action button now, nothing happens because it's switched over to the next page, and there's nothing there. So self-switches switch to the next page on a single event. Now, switches can be used for multiple things at once. So, let's control switch chest on. Let's make a new one. We'll say, we'll call this on. And it will turn on, on. So you go, okay. So let's say the chest won't appear until switch on is turned on. And let's say 
let's do something else. Let's say... Hmm. Let's say... Name input process. It will be turned on. On the condition that on is turned on. So let's switch. And we'll need to end that once it's finished. So this will be control self switch A on. New page. A is on. So I'll show you what this does. So nothing is there except Bob. When you talk to Bob, you see the chest appeared, and now name and process is turned on. So I'll change his name. Hmm. We'll use my name. Pat. Okay. So now, on the top there, you see my name is Pat. That's what name input processing is. If I hadn't used the self switch and made a blank page to switch it to, then it would have. Uh, I'll show you. Okay. It would keep reappearing, is what would happen. So, now I'll show you self switch a little bit more into detail. So, talking to him will turn self switch on. Self switch A on will make him say hi. No, let's have him say, I'm bored. Turn self switch B on. And it goes all the way up to D, so you've got four different uh, self switches that you can use. So here we'll turn self switch B on. Here, I'll do it like this. You copy this page, and then you paste it. So the new page still has this graphic on it. I'll do self switch B. I'll change the text to, I'm still bored. This is used for making single characters, single NPCs say multiple things. And I will turn self switch C on. Paste the page again. This will be C. New text will say This is boring. This is we'll turn D on. New page. Here. Paste. This is D. I hate your tutorials. And this will turn, okay, go, self switch A off, self switch B off. Self switch C off. Self switch D off. And since none of those are on, it'll revert back to the original page where there aren't any conditions. So, hang on, he's not saying anything on the first page. We'll have him say, Hi to us on the first page. So, 
Talk to him, he'll say, hi. Next, talk to him, I'm bored. Talk to him again, I'm still bored. Talk to him again, this is boring. Talk to him again, I hate your tutorials. You talk to him again, it'll cycle back to hi. So, that's a little bit more advanced in self-switches, but it's still pretty easy. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you on my next one.